the most ideal thing in the world would be that we take over the fucking world. <laughs> but, you know, let's be realistic. We're a tiny little band that nobody knows about. And if the record's good enough, then there's no reason why it shouldn't do very well. Can we take over the world? Who the fuck knows? And we finally finished our debut album, Filthy Empire. Every kind of establishment has their shady element. Even heaven's got this kind of dark area where something sinister happened. Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. What I wanted to achieve this album was making the best debut album for the last 15 years by any, any rock band. If you don't aspire to do that, then what's the point? Smash the bridge! This thing was like just dusty in the corner. I took it out, cranked it. It was so loud that the whole neighborhood was just like, are you kidding? You could, you could literally hear that amp half a mile down the street. Yeah, you that's, could hear that's no exaggeration. Watch me The producer for the album, Filthy Empire, was uh, John Feldman. These guys are a real rock and roll band with real dangerous energy. Like, these guys could actually change shit. Look at that freaky fucking thing. Yeah, I, I just had like a little thing written down that was just like heartbreaking son of a bitch. So it's quite snapping, I think, like with the speed of it, it's like heartbreaking son of a bitch, you know what I mean? Nice. So it'd be nice to take it away from just being too relentlessly garage for the chorus. It's just gotta be fucking right in your face, like deal with it. Drums there. Yeah, yeah full band, nice. Yeah. And then right, gun gun did it, yeah. Awesome. Let's try that. When was with Feldy? A few days into the session, actually, we decided to take a surf trip to San Simeon. It was like surf stroke, work on some songs. <laughs> it's quite enjoyable, if not a little bit reckless. <laughs> Doing an album, we don't need to be breaking limbs and cutting the throat and shit. <laughs> and then we did like a trip further up the coast, and he was like, right, we're gonna stop here, we're gonna stop here. And we all got out of the car. He just whipped out a microphone and was like, right, we're gonna track for a song called Heartbreaking Son of a Bitch. We're on a cliff above the Pacific and we're like the sea's crashing on the rocks below and he's just kind of like singing into the void and it was, it was just badass. You can actually hear the ocean on the track. Nice. Fucking awesome. Towards the end of it, we were just like zombies. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember thinking, oh, I've just got to go and record this back and vocal or something like that. And then they would play it back, and I'd already done it. Yeah, this one's, this one's good. This is that sound. <laughs> so I enjoy listening to the album as much as anyone because it's new to me. <laughs> We kind of like, I guess, like the element of surprise. Because we never, you know, when you. Ah! What? Ah! <laughs> Waiting, we just wanted tracks that were good. And we wanted it to be us. Because there's a world in our industry at the moment that is not legitimate anymore. And I think people are really. They can see through it. That was the, the, the ethos behind the album. We just wanted to keep it. Real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, dude, that, that right in the middle. It makes me not want to put it on if it's going to be nice. I want it to sound horrible. That's fucking badass, you know?